What is up you guys, it's your boy SRXGS and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 5 tips and tricks on how to kill the Instagram game. I'm going to share with you guys some tips on getting more likes, boosting your engagement, and just overall show you guys how to really maximize your social media platform. The tips I'm going to be mentioning are most definitely intense and in-depth. So keep in mind, this video is more so for the person who wants to step up their current social media game to potentially create business opportunities. But nonetheless, all of the things that I'm going to be mentioning in today's video were super helpful and really helped me grow. It's most definitely going to be a chatty video. So sit back, get cozy, and let's get into it. Before we hop into the tips, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an amazing online learning community for creators with more than 19,000 classes in productivity, photography, videography, and so much more. Skillshare is great for people who want to make their passion into a full-time job, for people who want to start their own business, or just progress in their own lives in an area in which they're genuinely passionate about. Premium membership begins around $10 a month, but for the first 150 people to sign up with the link in the description, you guys can get Skillshare for free for two whole months. I have a feeling those spots are going to fill up pretty quickly, so be sure to get in there while you can. I know for me personally, when I first started doing like the whole social media thing and was really trying to build my audience and platform, in the beginning, it was tough because I kind of had to learn as it went. So now with Skillshare, there's all these resources and that's why I feel like services like Skillshare can be so beneficial to anyone who is really trying to grow and just learn more. So be sure to peep the description box for links to Skillshare and all that good stuff. All right, so my first tip is probably the most easiest yet effective one, and that is to engage with your followers. If you're a social media influencer, content creator, photographer, etc., it's so important to remember that you have a platform that has an audience. You as a creator have supporters who you know, for the most part are responsible for your success on social media. Every like, every comment, every DM, especially when it's from a genuine and loyal follower really matters. So, you know, take the time out of your day to actually like comment back to them, reply to their DMs, just something super quick, like an emoji or like a thank you, or return the favor and actually comment back on other people's photos. Small interactions like that, although super easy to do, can really make a huge impact on your overall engagement. This next tip is super helpful in regards to your growth on social media, and that is photo tags and hashtags. When you guys upload a photo, whether it be to your actual account or maybe to like IG stories, and let's say for example, you guys are at like this super new, trendy, super aesthetic coffee shop, be sure to tag your location. Or if you guys upload an outfit photo, whether it be again to your account or Instagram stories, be sure to tag the brand as many times as you can. So if you upload it to your account, be sure to tag them not only in the actual photo but in the caption as well hashtags are just as important as photo tags because hashtags allow your photos and your content to be more accessible to everybody on instagram and in return when your photos and your content is more accessible and more visible that means more exposure and more engagement meaning more likes comments etc my honest number one top tip when it comes to this would be to just make sure that your photo tags and your hashtags actually are relevant to the actual photo and just don't overdo it and you should be good if any of you guys are really trying to take your Instagram game to the next level and really capitalize off of your social media platforms and essentially create a brand for yourself, you need to produce good content. Like, don't get me wrong, 100%, I'm not saying you guys have to go out there and buy like a fancy $5,000 camera and go to all of these like over the top, super aesthetic places. I'm just saying you guys have to be willing to, you know, go the extra mile to get that really good photo. Just even if you're out like at a coffee shop, and you're trying to get like a nice flat lay and all that good stuff. Just kind of like ask the people around you like, hey, is it okay if I grab like a quick photo real quick? You know, take the time to actually like readjust things on the table. And in terms of an outfit photo, really just go the extra mile, you know, step outside of your comfort zone, do different poses, and just kind of communicate with your photographer in terms of like what pose would be the best to achieve the type of look that you want. You know, actually make an effort to link up with your local photographers and be like, hey, you know, like you want to shoot and grab some photos. Overall, just be creative with your posts. And even if you guys are just shooting something super simple, just be sure to kill it in the edit. If you guys are interested, I recently did a how I edit my Instagram photos video so i'll be sure to leave it linked in the card somewhere up there 
Tip number four is a two for one. You know, when it comes to building your online social media platforms, there's two really big important factors that you guys should remember. And that is one, find your niche and two, stay consistent. So for example, I personally am a men's fashion and lifestyle blogger slash content creator. So majority of the things that I post on my Instagram are fashion related, whether it be like an outfit photo, a photo of like my sneakers, the things that I've been enjoying lately, like in a flat lay, food posts, etc. When you guys find your niche and when you create content that's related to it, people start to somewhat associate you with your niche, which is a good thing because you want people to kind of get a sense of what kind of content they can expect from you and when you really build a personal brand for yourself when like all of your content is well curated and put together that right there comes off as marketable to companies and brands which is good because in return that creates potential business opportunities and after finding your niche it's super important to remember to stay consistent you know like to each is his own i know a lot of you guys have other things going on some of you guys work full-time jobs you have other obligations and you're just busy doing other things so just post when you guys can but try to get a schedule going i personally try to post two to three times a week on the same days around the same time that right there creates a pattern and your viewers and your loyal followers and subscribers they're going to start picking up on your patterns and they're going to be that much more excited for all of your posts because they're going to already kind of somewhat be anticipating it which creates more hype and momentum and it's just an overall good thing the fifth and final tip may come off as super cheesy but in my opinion it is honestly the best most important advice I can give you guys when it comes to trying to build a social media platform and that is to just be yourself. It's so important to remember that although doing social media can be super dope, sometimes some people do get lost in the sauce. You know, don't be afraid to just be yourself. Throw in like a few shameless Instagram stories every now and then of you doing just like regular everyday things to kind of remind people that, you know, even though you have like a super nice Instagram feed, at the end of the day, like we're all human. One way I personally remain transparent with my followers is I always try to post daily gems as I like to call them on my Instagram stories. I'll post like positive slash inspirational quotes to my Instagram stories and then people will resonate with them and then they'll DM me and then that'll spark a conversation and it'll just be like all good from there. Building an audience really comes down to just being transparent and really creating and maintaining a positive connection with your followers. Because as I said, they really do play a big role in your success on social media. So if you take away anything from this video, just remember to remain genuine, spread nothing but positivity, and don't be afraid to be shameless every now and then. And that's it for my top five tips and tricks on how to kill it on Instagram slash social media. Much love once again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to peep the link in the description box for two months of Skillshare for free for the first 150 people to sign up. I know a lot of what I said can seem pretty extreme for social media. However, this is more so just for the creative who, again, wants to maximize their social media platform. So hopefully you guys gathered some inspo from what I said. If you made it this far, you are a real one. I felt like I was talking for five years already. If you made it this far, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and be sure to hit those notification bells so you guys know when I drop some new content. Follow me on Instagram at SRXJess. And um, I think that's it. So until next time, peace.